Hello class, we are now in lesson 2 of our online discussion and we will talk specifically about the SWOT or the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And I know that you are already familiar with this term and we will uh, talk more about these important terms in the business field. So before we will start our formal lesson, we will give you the expectation of this lesson so after going through this lesson you are expected to understand the SWOT analysis the second one to discuss the purpose of SWOT analysis and the third one the last will be to identify the SWOT of a business so again before we will start our formal lesson we will have a pretest first Question number one, it is a strategic planning technique to assess the internal and external factors as well as the current and future potential. A. SWOT analysis. B. Environmental scanning. C. Business plan. Or D. Marketing research. So the answer for question number one would be a SWOT analysis question number two SWOT stand for a strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats b strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats with the h letter c strengths weaknesses opportunities and time or letter d strengths weaknesses opportunities and time bound So the SWOT stand for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats with letter H. Question number three. It describes what an organization excels, excels at and what separates it from the competition. A. Strengths. B. Weaknesses. C. Opportunities. Or D. None of the above. So the answer for number three is letter A, strengths. Question number four. It refers to favorable external factors that could give an organization a competitive advantage. A, strengths. B, weaknesses. C, opportunities. Or letter D, none of the above. The answer for number four is letter C, opportunities. And last number, number five, it refers to factors that have the potential to harm an organization. A, strengths. B, weaknesses. C, opportunities. Or D, none of the above. The answer for number five is letter D, none of the above, which is the threats. Okay, so once again, congratulations, you just got the perfect score for the pre-test. Now let's proceed to our lesson. And we will discuss about the SWOT or the SWOT analysis. So according to Grant 2020, SWOT analysis assesses internal and external factors as well as the current and future potentials current and future potentials so again the SWOT analysis or the SWOT stands for strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats it is a framework used to develop or to evaluate the company's competitive position and to develop strategic planning so SWOT analysis assess internal and external factors as well as the current and future potential potentials so it is important to learn as a manager to know how to use this SWOT analysis. Okay, This is used for the evaluation, evaluation of the company. So we need to regularly evaluate the company that we manage in order to know the, um, for example, potential um, competitive position or to have this we able to develop a strategic planning because we can identify the weaknesses of our company 
the strengths of our company and for the external factors the opportunities and the threats okay so it is important that we need to learn how to use the SWOT analysis not just learning but also applying the SWOT analysis so I prepare here a, a graph or a picture in order to learn more or we need to deep um, learn about the SWOT analysis so how to conduct a SWOT analysis for your small business so for the strengths we need to answer these questions what do you do well it will answer the strengths of your company and for the weaknesses where do you need to improve and uh, for the opportunities what are your goals okay it is it talks about the future so the strengths and weaknesses it talks about the current situation and for the opportunities and threats it is derived from the future situations what are your goals in your company and for the threats what obstacles do you face so the SWOT analysis is designed to facilitate the realistic or we call it fact-based data-driven look at the strengths and weaknesses of an organization or an industry so or the organization needs to keep the accuracy of the analysis by avoiding preconceived beliefs or gray areas instead focusing on real life context so the company should use it as a guide and not necessarily a prescription so again before we will decide as a manager we need to collect data we need to collect informations so we need to you know gather informations we need to study our own company that we manage we need to know to know our strengths and weaknesses and also to discover what are the possible opportunities and the threats okay so SWOT analysis is a technique for assessing the performance and competition or the risk and potentials of the business as well as a part of the business such as product line or divisions and industry or other entity so it's very important and that is why while, while you are still studying the this program you are able to know this um strategic plan or technique as you manage the uh, business soon so we need to as a manager we need to know to know the strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats of the company that we manage so if we able to um able to apply this um tool there's a big possibility that we can able to succeed in the business that we handled so now let's um, talk deep more about this SWOT analysis and we will talk first about the internal factors so what are the internal factors the strengths and the weaknesses okay so this is part of the internal factors so for example the number number one here the financial resources such as money and source of funds for investments okay what else physical resources such as the company's location facilities machinery and equipment so these are the examples of the internal factors number three we have this human resources consisting of employees we can able to determine the strengths of our human resources and also the weaknesses part so this is part of the internal factors number four access to natural resources trademarks patents and copyrights and lastly for number five current processes such as employee programs sales and distribution capabilities marketing programs etc so the strengths describes what an organization excels and what separates it from the competition so that's for example here the strong brand loyal customer base a strong balance sheet and unique technology and more 
So we can easily identify the strengths because it describes the organizations that excel with the other company. Okay, that we have this called edge with the other company. So that those are the strengths. Okay, and for the weaknesses, as we have mentioned in this slides. The weaknesses stop an organization from performing at its optimum level. There are certain barriers or problems that we can able to identify that that would be the reason why the company did not perform well. So we can able to identify that following weaknesses. So there are areas where the business needs to improve. So for example, there's a lack of raw materials that would be considered as a weakness. We also have this personal attitude. There are some employees that have the problem in the attitude that would be considered as the weakness of our company. And we also have, for example, poor location. If our company is located in the poor location, that would be considered as a weakness and lack of budget for product promotion, among others. So those are the examples of weaknesses and strengths, and that is part of the internal factors. Now let's proceed to the external factors, which are the opportunities and threats. And I will talk to you some examples of the external factors. So these are the factors that affect the company and organization and individual and those outside their control. From the word external, it means that it is outside the control of the for example, the managers or the owner of the company. So these factors include the economic trends such as stock market, economic performance, and the like. So the company or the manager or the owner, it is outside of their control. The economic trends such as stock market, economic performance, and the like. What else? Market trends such as new products or technology, changes in taste and lifestyle of society. We cannot able to control the lifestyle of the society. So these are the parts, example parts of the external factors. Number three, national and local laws and regulations. There are some government have imposed new laws and regulations and it is outside the control of the company. And that is considered as a part of the external factors. Number four, relationships with suppliers. Because suppliers is outside the business. And number five is competitive threats. Okay, so these are the examples of the external factors. And we will talk first about these opportunities. So the opportunities refers to the favorable external factors that could give an organization a competitive advantage. So example include, for example, they have this larger market, company expansion, and new customer trends, and among others. So that, those are the examples of opportunities. And for the threats, it refers to the factors that have the potential to harm an organization. Okay, So there is a potential that the company, organization, will put in place with in the harm position okay so for example is the changes in the govern government policy for example the government imposes new policy and it affects our business and that is the threats considered as a one of the threats of our company what else changes in customer taste and preferences we cannot able to control the preferences and the taste of the consumer and that is the threats of our company because there's a possibility that if we will not change our products, we no longer have a customer. And also, inflation. If, for example, our country experiences inflation and also recessions, it also affects our company. So that those are the threats that we can identify within our company. So it is important that a, as a manager, we can able to identify what are the internal and external factors, the strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats, so that we can able to run our business smoothly. Okay, so I hope that you have learned something on this online discussion about SWOT analysis. 
But before we will end our discussion, I will share to you in the valuing part. Sometimes you don't realize your strengths until you come face to face with your greatest weakness. This is written by Sosan Gali. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.